I have a formal occasion to go to and I need your help. everyone, Sharon here, Ageless Restyling. Thank you so, so very much for joining me today. As I said into my, in my intro, I have a formal occasion to go to. And me, back in the day, I would have gone shopping. But not this time. I have more than enough to choose from, from my closet. So I went in my closet and I started pulling some items which may be appropriate for the occasion. What I'm asking you today is to help me choose which dress to wear. What we're going to do today is simply choose the dress. We're not going to style it up. We're not going to do anything. I'm going to save that for the let's get dressed when I style up the selection. However, I want you to help me select which dress I should wear. So your comments is going to be very, very important this time. I want you, as I try on the dress, I think I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, oh, <laughs> eleven dresses. I didn't realize I pulled so many dresses. Well, hopefully, of the eleven dresses that I have here, I will find, we will find one that will work, that we like. I have to say something. I have not tried any of these dresses on. I'm hoping they still fit. A lot of them I have had for years because you guys know, you know, all of them are thrifted. I've been thrifting for years. I always thrift formal because who can afford to pay those prices <laughs> in retail? So all of these formal dresses I thrifted. I haven't tried them on in, you know, because we had the big C and everything was locked down. Things weren't happening, you know. Things are just now starting to get back and people are going back to formal. So this will be my first opportunity. I want to say, oh my gosh, you know, for four years that I've even tried these on. So hopefully they fit and one of them work for the occasion. Let me read the invite to you so you can see what I'm trying to... um select the dress for so let's see so the invitation says okay okay the invitation says you're cordially invited to an exquisite sequence holiday who doesn't love sequence okay okay not all the dresses that i have here have sequence so i may have messed up a bit <laughs> But let's let's start with these. It says sequence holiday soiree. Um, attire is semi-formal suits and stilettos. Oh, stilettos! What if you want to wear your sneakers? <laughs> so it's a sequence so uh, soiree, and um, they're asking for suits and stilettos. So that's what the inv invitation reads. And you know, it's a Christmas, it's a holiday party. So that's what the invitation reads so that's what i'm trying to select the dress for so let's get started i love this dress this is nicole miller um it says it's a size eight but i find that nicole miller runs a little bit small this is stunning i thrifted this dress from labels never wore it so let's see if I can even get into this dress now, okay? <laughs> let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's try the dress on. Oh, the dress is on. It fits! Yes! It's the little things. I love the dress. Now keep in mind, I we're not styling it up. We're just trying to see, will this work for the sequence soiree? I just threw on some um, sandals just to lift me up off the floor so the dress isn't dragging on the floor. So this color is beautiful. What do y'all think? Will this work for a sequence soiree? I love the color of this. It fits to perfection if i had one little thing 
at alam ko na nitpick about just a little smidgen is this I don't like the cap sleeve I don't know why I never took it up well I guess because I never wore the dress I would have preferred I prefer this and if that's if I do decide to wear this dress I have enough time to take this to the tailor well maybe not enough the, the soirees in a week and have them you know fix that yeah that's the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it had that little cap sleeve I prefer it without the little cap sleeve see look at it with the cap sleeve this, look at it with the cap sleeve and without the cap sleeve. What's your thoughts? Do you think it looked better without the cap sleeve? I think that's the only little thing that I nitpick about. And it it doesn't have the sweet sequence that they say. But I do have some little shimmy shimmy that goes down. And I love the ruching. It kind of like help cover up the little tummy. It's the color for me. This is beautiful. Okay, so comment below your thoughts on this one. All right. So the next one that I'm going to try on, it's this one. Now, this doesn't have any sequins. Oh, by the way, let me tell you all this. Please ignore the wrinkles. I will not wear it wrinkled like this. Trust and believe. But, you know, these formal dresses are in the back of my closet. And, you know, they're... Because they're long, they're like sitting on the ground. <laughs> so I didn't feel like steaming all of them before I came out and tried them on because I'm just trying to figure out what to wear. So please ignore the wrinkles. Don't come and say, Sharon, it's wrinkled. I know it's wrinkled. I know, I know, I know. Me know. Me just, I tried to figure out what I'm going to do because the ones I don't wear is going to go back in the back of the closet again and get more wrinkles. So please ignore the wrinkles. I'm just trying to figure it out and ask you guys to help me figure it out okay i love the color of this one it doesn't have the sequence that they say but you know let's try it on and see how it looks maybe i don't need sequence maybe the sequence will come in with the accessories when i decide which dress i'm gonna select so let's put this one on i'll be right back it fits <laughs> that's the first thing i'm gonna say when i turn around is that it fits because like i said I wasn't sure whether any of these dresses will fit, so I'm so happy when they do. Okay, absolutely love this beautiful, is this color magenta? Magenta color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I didn't tell you guys who this, who this dress is by. Well, when I take it off, I'll let you know. <laughs> I love it. There's no sequence on it. But like I said, the sequins could come in in the accessories. Maybe some sequins earring. You know, shoes with a little bit of sequins on it. My bag. But I love the simplicity of this. And the color. Keep in mind, we're not going to be accessorizing. We're simply trying to figure out which one I'm going to wear. And the night that I wear the dress, that's the night you guys are going to see me accessorize it pull it together right now we're just trying to figure out what am i gonna wear <laughs> so look at this one and let me know your thoughts will this fit the soiree <laughs> the holiday soiree what do you think of the fit the color I love it. I love the color. I love the simplicity of it. Sometimes simple is so elegant. You know, I, I, I love the color. The magenta color. So let me know your thoughts on this one. This beautiful magenta. Okay. Next up is a oldie 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 <laughs> okay. my daughter is now 35 years old Haley, mommy telling your age that's okay you're young she's now 35 years old i wore 
this dress to a party when she was 16. <laughs> and why I remember is because she was she came to the party with me. <laughs> now, again, this doesn't have any sequence. It's this beautiful. Look at the fabric. It's just, it's the fabric for me. Look at this beautiful brown. And you know, brown is trending. And this is a Dana Max dress. And like I said, I've had this dress since my daughter was 16 years old. And she's now 35. So I've had it for a very, very long time. It doesn't necessarily it doesn't have any sequins. But I love like the, the snake, it's kind of like a snake print and the fluidity of the dress. So let me put this one on and then when I take this one off, I'll tell you the name of this one. Let me put this dress on and I'll be right back. Okay, the Dana Max dress is on. Oh, let me tell you this, the pink, the fuchsia dress was um Adrian Papel. This was an Adrian Papel dress. Okay. Now this one, I don't know if I like as much. Yeah, I'm not feeling this one as much as I was feeling the other two. And maybe because the other two are so vibrant, the colors, that this brown is kind of feet, oh, falling flat to me. But it's, it is an interesting texture. much as the uh the first two that i tried on the blue and the um magenta maybe it's an unfair comparison because those were such vibrant color and then here i am trying on brown <laughs> let me know what you think <laughs> all right so now let's go to something that one that actually has sequins boy i hope this fits this is the one that i'm worried about <laughs> and this one is short Wait a minute. I just saw see a little spot. I just noticed a little spot in this. How did I do that? Huh? I'm going to have to see if I could take this to the cleaners and get it out. Fortunately, the spot is not on. It's not on the dress. It's on the sequence. I mean, it's not on the fabric. It's on the sequence. So I should be able to get that out. Nobody would even notice that but me. My sister was like, I was, my sister always teased me. She said, you could spot a spot. You could see a spot a mile away. But anyhow, this is the one that I'm most worried about. If it will fit. This one would definitely fit the soiree. Because this one is sequence. And it's short. <laughs> Let's hope that it fits. And this is, um... Dress, dress the population, sequence number, thrifted from labels. So let's put this on and see what it looks like. That is, if I could get it on. <laughs> I don't know why I was worried. It went on really, really easy. As a matter of fact, it's, <laughs> it's a little loose. <laughs> okay. It's very short. <laughs> it's very short. <laughs> I don't know how comfortable I would be if I decided to wear this one. I, I, I don't know. Boy, Sharon, you still have all your legs out. <laughs> I, I don't know, y'all. What do you think? What do you think? I would definitely... <laughs> my booboo right here <laughs> put some leg cover up <laughs> my booboo from the mini vacation okay so here's a sequence and as far as i'm concerned this is a mini dress this is a sequence mini dress so here's a sequence mini dress what's your thought i i don't know 
I'm, I don't know how comfortable I would be throughout the night in this. So if I if I wore this, which I'm gonna be honest with you, is highly unlikely. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this may go in my closet sale. <laughs> Take it to the dry cleaner, get the spot out, and stick it in the closet sale. Cause just standing here, I'm not very comfortable in it. So yeah. I, mm, yeah. It's a lot shorter than I even thought it would be. It's a pretty dress though. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen with this dress. I'm gonna take it to the cleaner, get that one little spot out, and stick it in my closet sale. For somebody younger, I'm much nicer legs to wear. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to something else. I have been wanting to try this one on. Okay. <clears throat> when I first pulled it out, I'm like, ooh. Okay, look at this. Look at this little number. Who is this dressed by? Let's see. I need to put the back. All right. This says Fiesta. Whoops. <laughs> this says Fiesta. So let me try this little number on and i will be right back with fiesta <sighs> listen this is a straight out no it's a no it's a no it's a no for me all you can see is boobs <laughs> at the bottom I love the color however what I don't like I don't like here maybe that's why they gave the little <laughs> they gave you this <laughs> just in case you want to cover up <laughs> yeah this is a no for me Another one that's gonna go in my closet sale because it's just it's just too much boobs for me. <laughs> too much boobies are is out. All right, let's harp and get out of this one. Woo! I mean you can bring some more um stuffing because yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go with this color. Let's go with red. Let's this beautiful red. And this dress is David Meister. Doesn't have any sequins, according to the soiree. It's a sequin soiree. But the color may make up for the missing sequins. And like I said, I could add, maybe add the sequins in with my, with my accessories. So let me hurry up and get out of this one and put my right dress on. <sighs> The red dress is on. And I must say, I really like the way it fits. Not to mention, it's the color of the season. I love it. I really like the way it fits. I could bring the sequins in with my accessories. Simple, beautiful red dress. What's your thought? <laughs> After the last two failure was, it's nice to put one on that was like, yes, because the last two was a bust, bust, bust. <laughs> I like this. I love the color. Oh, I accidentally cut myself. How did I cut myself? I don't even know how I did that. See? I cut myself. I have to be careful not to get anything on here. Hold on a moment. I have a towel in here. I told you guys that I'm accident prone. Seriously, how did I do that? Don't even know how I did that. Okay. <laughs> it's not bad. All right, back to the dress. <laughs> I love the dress. This could work. 
let me know your thoughts. I'm happy to have had a win after the last two failure because the last two was an absolute no. All right. So now let's go to another one that this one has sequence in it. This, um, I'm hoping, Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. This dress is a Scala. And I love the simp simplicity of it, the simple elegance of it with all the beadwork. See all the beadwork? So let's see how this one works. Let's try it on. Oh, the dress is on. <sighs> Barely. <laughs> This will not work. Oh, but I love the detail. And I actually love the cut of the dress. I mean, it might, don't, this, this shoes is throwing it off. Let's. <laughs> I mean. because of all the dresses I tried on I am really feeling this one I I know I like something when I put it on and immediately want to start styling it I, was, I immediately wanted to start styling this up I mean I imagine some black strappy sandals oh I really like this one there's an elegance to this that I'm really liking but I'm gonna have to drop at least one pound because <laughs> when I tell you this thing it fits or I'm gonna have to put something on to suck everything in because right now I have nothing on underneath I don't have on any um um undergarment to suck and fit and do because <laughs> we're just trying on we're just trying on but I, I there's an elegance to this that i like what do you think do you guys see it the only thing that yeah it will zip up <laughs> i just can't reach back there i like this and i think it's different than anything that I'm going to see. The navy blue and black. Oh. I'm liking this. I am really liking this. I like it because I think it's different than what I'm going to see out there at that event. When I put it on, I immediately started styling it up in my head. Look at that slit in the back. <laughs> Do you think if I put on the right construction undergarment, I'll get I'll get that one pound that <laughs> that I so desperately want? <sighs> yeah, I really like this. Of all the dresses that I've tried on, this one speaks to me the most. And I think it's because maybe to it, the style of it is a throwback. And I like that. It's different. I immediately see it with some st black strappy sandals. Here, oh. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. All right, moving right along. 
let's try this one on again this one doesn't have any sequins this is um pretty lavish i love the burnt orange color perfect for fall let's try this one on and see how it works <sighs> this one is really long <laughs> My necklace my earring all of that I love this burnt orange on my skin tone I love the simplicity of it because it's elegant in its simplicity not to mention the fact how long it is it just sweeps on the ground I like it <laughs> this let me know your thoughts on this one you know what do you think I love the color on my skin tone absolutely love the color we're still in fall right it's not winter yet <laughs> and this burnt orange color beautiful autumn fall color and I like the way it's just kind of, it just skims the body. Because it doesn't necessarily, oh! <laughs> I may actually be able to eat in this one. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't eat a thing in this one. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> but that's okay. Generally when I go to these functions, it's more socializing. Not necessarily about food for me. So, let me know your thoughts on this one. I, I really like this one. I love the simple, simple elegance of it. Okay, so now who do we have left here? Okay, we, oh gosh, we got three left. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one, this navy blue, see, never wore it. This is at Eliza J. New York. Well, a lot of these have never been worn. This does have a little bit of sequins on the side right here. So, let's try this one on and see how it looks. This one is just elegant. By the way, it fits. It's just elegant. Look at the sleeves. What the it has like this cut out from here to here. The sleeves are open. I didn't even notice that interesting detail with the share panel. Now, if I didn't like it as much, I could simply take it to a tailor and have them just sew it up. And it's just a sheer panel. And I think, you know what? Hmm. I think I might do that. Or I could even do that myself. My sewing skills are enough that I could just sew this up because I don't know if I necessarily like it where it's, you know, my, my arm could just flap open like that. I like this sheer panel, but I don't like the, I don't like the opening. And that's my only complaint about this dress because this is a very elegant dress. This navy blue dress. Right shoes, right accessories. It's just elegant. I don't know why they had this opening out. <laughs> I would sew this in. Even if I don't select this dress to wear it, I'm going to do that. So that when I do decide to wear it, it's already ready and sewn. What do you think of this? What's your thought? I think it's very elegant. I don't know if it's what I want to wear for this occasion. So, here we 
here is the Eliza navy blue dress. Let me know what you think. Okay. So now let's go to this purple number. This one again. Never worn. And this one. Oh my gosh. Y'all. I know I thrifted this. But let me. The price tag is still on there. Let me. It says as is. But I didn't see anything wrong with it. This dress was. Um. Can you see that? $606 retail. $606 retail. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Sherry Hill dress. And I'm almost positive I thrifted this from labels way back when. <laughs> so. Yeah, this looks like a dress I would have gotten from labels. So let's try this on, and I'll be right back. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I got in the dress. The problem is, you need help with this dress. This hook has to connect to a, a hook up here. I can't do that. <laughs> so if I decide to wear this dress, make sure my sister is here that night to help me hook it up <laughs> oh my goodness so here is the dress <laughs> I can't hook it oh I love the color of it um and I think that's about it for this dress it's the color for me dress that I'm going to sell <laughs> because if I need help to get to hook a dress up it's a no for me I don't understand how did I even end up buying it <laughs> if I knew that I couldn't get into it myself I guess well now that I guess I know what happened I'm in the store at labels somebody hooked it for me and I saw it I loved it. <laughs> I'm telling you. But if I decide I want to wear this dress, this I have to have someone here to hook it. Because there is no way I can connect. I cannot connect the two corners together. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So that's the story with this the number <laughs> let's move on to the last dress all right can I let go of this one okay very carefully so this one is black oh <laughs> you know what let, let me put this dress on and I'll be right back because if I let go I'm gonna be exposing myself on, on YouTube so let's put this one on and I'll be right back <laughs> Okay, the first one that does not fit. This dress is a Calvin Klein dress. And you see this part right here? It's, a, it's supposed to be a drop waist. You see how it's gathering back here? I couldn't pull it up over my hips. I had to put it over my head. And then this is supposed to drop. <sighs> and I love the simplicity of this, but yeah. Cause it's it's gathering all right here all this extra fabric because it needs to it's supposed to drop maybe maybe about three inches down on my hips but it doesn't fit and this is a hundred percent silk oh love it love the fabric oh it feels amazing but I guess some lucky person will out there get it because I'm gonna throw it in my closet sale yeah this beautiful silk Calvin Klein dress 
just does not fit. Ah. Yeah. Ah, this hurts. <laughs> Cause it's supposed to drop down. It's like a drop waist. But it's not gonna pass these hips. <laughs> it's not gonna pass the hips at all. I could I imagine someone who is really slim, whose hips is not wide, and ooh, this dress will be fire with under right fit. It would be fire with the right fit. It's it's simple elegance. <sighs> oh well, so my friends, you know, I don't know. If there was anything that I was a hundred percent about, there were some items that I really enjoyed and I really like, but nothing that punched me. You know what? Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me go take a second look. Hold on. Hold on. So I brought a few more shorter pieces in. Cause, yeah, because I have to figure this out. And I am not going to buy anything. I have stuff in my closet that I can wear. I'm trying to get this mindset of where what I already have in my closet don't always run out there and buy something. So I have this little um, Tory Burch dress. This is old. And the invite did say sequins. Can we get any more sequins than this? <laughs> Let's try this one on and see how, what it looks like. It's on, but this is a no. <laughs> Let me put my glasses on so I can see. This is a no. This thing cuts almost down to my navel. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, how did I wear it? How did you wear it, Sharon? I had to have pinned... I had to have, uh, have pinned this. I must have, because there's absolutely... No way I could have just worn it like this. Now, the length of this one is okay to me. Because it's not a mini. But I almost feel like I need something underneath it. You know how this would look really, really, really cute? I'm going to have to tack something here so it doesn't just gape open. Because literally when I say... Let, let me let it go. See? I mean, <laughs> you got to be really careful. It just gapes open. <laughs> you got to be really careful. But this will look really cute with an oversized tuxedo jacket. I see this with an oversized tuxedo jacket. Y'all, I was talking about this initially, <laughs> but now that I'm styling it up in my head, if I can get this to lay properly, <laughs> where I'm comfortable with it, how did I wear this before? Did I lose weight? <laughs> and that's my problem, the front. Maybe I need to switch it around. Hold on, hold on. Let me see something. Hold on. <laughs> I switch it around. This is the back. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, this is what I do in my closet when I'm trying to figure out what am I going to wear for an occasion, whatever the occasion is. I pull stuff out and try them on. We just having fun in the closet. What do you think of this? It's sequins. I mean, I'm styling this up with an oversized tuxedo jacket. What do you, I mean, I think it looks better this way with the front as the back. And this is the front. What are your thoughts on this one? Switching it around. 
Now, there is a lot of side boobage. <laughs> but if I have on an oversized tuxedo jacket, you know, that would cover up the side boobage, which I'm going to need something anyhow because it's still, it's chilly. Huh. I was ruling this one out. No, I'm rethinking it. Because the invitation, let's read the invitation once more. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, see my process when I'm trying to figure out what to wear for a special occasion. It says, sequin holiday soiree. Attire, semi-formal. Suits and stilettos. It's semi-formal, it's not formal. I was pulling out long dresses. It's a semi-formal occasion. They just want sequins. So if it's semi-formal and the key thing is sequins and stilettos, this will work. Hmm. This will also work because it's not formal. I consider this like semi-formal and just add my stilettos. What did I drop? And let's see. This will be semi-formal. Because it's not that dressy. But it doesn't have the sequence. Hmm. Y'all, I'm rethinking this one. Based on the invitation. Semi-formal. Sequence holiday soiree. I'm rethinking this. Now that the low cut is in the back, I would just have to make sure I put the tape, the double-sided tape, so this doesn't move. And plus I'll have my jacket over it. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. on the invitation um hmm now that i've got that clarification let me try this one on and show you guys i love this dress this was a formal dress this was long and i had it cut into a shorter dress because i love the detail and oh the, the velvet the, vel the velvet let me put this one on. This is the last one because I'm getting tired. I know y'all getting tired of me, but <laughs> we're just in the closet having fun, trying stuff on, trying to figure it out. But I'm going to need you guys to comment below to help me out to decide which one to wear. Okay? I'm going to need some help. <laughs> Let me put this one on. I'll be right back. <laughs> I love this dress. It has sequins. I love this dress. Like I said, this was once I thrifted. I'll never forget. My mom was with me when I thrifted this dress. I was at a consignment shop in Miami. And uh, it's called New to You or New to Me, something like that. And my mom was with me. And I was looking. I forgot the theme of the, of the event I was going to. But somehow or another, this dress fit the theme. The only thing was it's that it was long and i didn't want it long so i purchased it took it to the tailor and had them cut it mommy was with me and she approved of it she loved it <laughs> oh and I, i've worn this dress one time and it's been in my closet ever since and i've never worn it again so this dress is old <laughs> Because, first of all, I thrifted it from a consignment shop and I've had it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I've had this dress in my closet for maybe about 15 years. And as long as it can fit, it's, it's going to stay there. Because I love Every time I put it on, because I've tried this on before. <laughs> um, uh, well, before the big C, trying to wear it again. But I always selected something else. But I don't know. I think it might be a winner this time. I think it might be because you know, it does have a little bit of sequence. 
All I gotta do is add the stilettos. <laughs> I'm feeling this one. I am. You guys, thank you so very much for playing with me, for, for playing with me, for joining me and playing along in the closet, trying to figure it out. Please comment below of all the things I tried on. What do you think fits the occasion based on the invitation that I read to you guys? I need help. I have some ideas in my head. I kind of have my favorites. And, uh, but I want to hear your opinion. Now, keep in mind, remember, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out which item. When I select the item, I'll actually style it up with a let's get dressed when I'm for that occasion when I'm actually going to the party. I just need you guys to help me select one of these dresses. <laughs> I just wanted to come and sh share with you how what I do when I'm trying to figure things out. It's just like pulling stuff out and just having fun and playing in the closet. This, so that's what we were doing today. We we're playing in the closet. So thank you so very much for joining me today. If you have not subscribed and you've watched all of this, please consider subscribing. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate your support. And to my supporters, please help a girl out. <laughs> Let me know your favorites. Let me know your thoughts. Comment below. <laughs> I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate all of your help. <laughs> Remember to thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. If you want to support me, comment. Like I said, comment and share. Now, I always leave with find a reason to smile. <laughs> and my reason for smiling today is um, I started, um, I think I told you guys that, I'm going to share my devotion with you that I started um, Luke. And it comes from... Um, I started the book of Luke and today's devotion was Luke 19, 10. And I don't know how many of you guys know about Luke. And Luke um, was considered the, the great physician. He was a doctor. And he emphasis, the emphasis on him is that he called Jesus the son of man. So verse 19, 10 says for the son of man came to seek and to save what was lost so jesus came here to seek and to save us and that's why luke referred to him as the son of man because he gave his life for us i find luke very very interesting there is, as I'm diving into Luke, there are things in Luke that are not in other parts of the Bible. And so I'm smiling because, yeah, I, I have read my the Bible my entire life, but it's like each time you read it, you delve into it, you find new and amazing things. And when you read it from a different perspective of, trying to open your heart, your brain, your mind, your body and soul, and just take all of the words in, it, it, it's just different. It's, for me, I, at least it's just different. So that's my, this is, that's my reason for smiling today as I dive into Luke and to get his perspective. Because Luke was a doctor and he was very detailed and he wanted to make sure that he got it right. And I love how he called Jesus the Son of Man. Because the Son of Man came to seek and to, and to save what was lost. We were lost and he came to save us. And I'm smiling for that. You find your reason to smile. Until next time, this is Sharon saying bye-bye. <laughs>